Okay, on our way this morning to check on our corn after our depressive night. So, it's funny, just when I was about to give up, then I looked it up on the internet a bit, and as I was looking it up, I came across some old pictures I had. So first of all, let's see Miss Lucky here, right here. She's in our corn bed. And I did not manage to cut her wings yesterday. I, anyway, so I was telling you, I was looking up and I found some old pictures of corn and my garden like two, three years ago. Anyway, it really gave me a boost. So I'm gonna make a special vlog on that, on the things that we did and uh, other things that we can do. But meanwhile, let's try to catch Lucky. Come on, Lucky. Lucky. No, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. All right, just looking at it from the top, it looks like it's not so bad. Ah, uh, but she keeps running back and forth in the corn. All right, I'm coming for my daily greenhouse checkup and watering. Even though I'm wishing I can grow everything in the greenhouse where there's no slugs, I guess, yet. But I have looked up the slug issue. I have a bit more clarity of what the problem is with the slugs and how I can take care of it. First of all, what's really good is that it, they only like damp, wet conditions. So now that we've had rain in ER, which is April, we, we usually don't. So it's, it, they still have a watery, you know, damp pockets of places that they can hide. And us having a lot of wood chips there, which is the permaculture way, I'll talk about permaculture another time, but that's the kind of uh, gardening I follow, permaculture. So they always say cover the earth, wood chips is great, wood chips is great. But in damp places, um, it's a perfect slug hideaway, all these wood chips. So I, I don't know, I'm still, I like, the function that wood chips do i am hoping that i am going that in like the weather is going to heat up and there'll be less hiding places for them during the day um i'm also gonna try to be more careful with my watering habits which means like my hose is leaking now so it leaks into the crevices and makes it more damp so if i make sure that to water only the places that need watering, nothing around it, no stone or anything around it, so that maybe I can also minimize the slug places. So I'm willing to give it another try after seeing the beautiful corn we got uh, last year and the year before. So, morning, good morning. We're checking on the state of the garden right now. This is the far end corner that hopefully we're going to open that gate over there. Do you see it there? I'm going to open that gate so we can get wood chips into this section. These are our bricks for making the new garden beds all waiting nicely these are our compost piles we have two compost piles so far they're covered so that it should stay moist and then I wrote the next bed is gonna go here this is all the brush we cut and that's gonna fill the garden beds this is the wood chips that we get for free. Let's see. The wood chips, and then here we have the stakes in the ground ready for placement for the new beds to mirror. These are our old beds. Look how nice. We're going to mirror that on this side. Those are more cut. So basically, this is what it looks like now. This is all the garbage that we took out of here. This is where the chickens are going to go. Yeah. 
That's that. If you notice, we use a raised bed system. We're raising our beds with concrete blocks. The reason we use raised beds are three. One is that we have very clay, hard, rocky soil, and it would take forever to, to dig deep and enough in order to amend the soil properly. Also, it's easier for our, to maintain for our back. It's clearer where it is, and I can put in whatever soil I want so it's a less work. There are less weeds, and the beds drain better. You don't have to use concrete blocks. That's the cheapest for us here, but wood, um, any other creative material that will hold your earth in is fantastic. And then you just have to amend it on top. There's no tilling. There's no disturbing of the organic matter. It's a fantastic, fantastic system. And we really are enjoying it. Hi everyone, today's a big day. Today we're installing the chicken coop. I am so excited, I've been planning this for forever. So let me just show you the before. This is how it looks before. And this is the frame, this is the size that the chicken coop's gonna be. It's actually the roof. And it's gonna sit right here where it is. There'll be room over here that we can, and there'll be doors on the side that we can open up to take out the eggs. And there's a shady big bush here for the chicks to hide under. There's a compost pile back there. And then this side is the garden, which we're gonna fence off for the gardening season. And we don't want the chickens in there but I will leave them more shade under there, probably. Uh, yeah, so they're coming soon, and I'm so excited. They're gonna finish. Hi, so we're at the exciting part of the journey. This is Haley Madresha Tahila. She is emptying our compost pile. This is the results. See it better. Yeah, dark, good, organic matter that's going to go right onto our growing beds. Perfect. Thank you. Now I'm using a wheelbarrow for the first time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go, Haley. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. What's your name and where are you from? Lily from San Diego. San Diego. Another Madrasha Tahila is here with the compost. Mm -hmm. Do you have any gardening experience? Uh, a little bit in camp. In camp? We, I worked in like uh, camping trips and stuff like that. So oh. We were making our own garden there too. Amazing. So we got someone with some experience. Okay. So. What we're going to do is we're bringing it over to our beds and we're dumping them on and I'm going to spread them. Now these are supports for the eggplants that will grow here. These are old tables from Neve that were not needed so we took them, just the base like this, and we're going to turn it over and use them as stakes for the vegetables, like so. There's another bigger one there. More exciting news in our corn patch. My oh my. Look what I found this afternoon. I was gonna say this morning. The beginning of corn. Is there another one? These big huge ones? Ooh. Okay, so we're definitely due for a midsummer garden update. 
chicken coop. The gate for the chickens is almost ready. No chickens yet. Let's take a look at the corn. We already harvested a corn and it was so good. Corn fresh. These are going to be ready. See, these are going to be ready any day. The top leaves here are starting to brown, so that's a good sign. We still have some baby ones, mint, growing in here, and it smells. Carrots are doing really nice, which is interesting that the this part gets less sun and a fewer carrots are doing well and this gets a bit more sun and look at the difference so if i want to plant more carrots i'm going to wait till the corn's finished fill the whole thing with here are just some pictures for you to enjoy of our um harvest over the years um it's amazing looking back and it really gives me strength to continue and i hope that We'll have luck with it too. These pictures are from our farm to picnic um, experience with the girls on the first year of the garden, which was like three years ago. Um, yeah, so it was awesome and I can't wait to do it again soon. Notice all the bushes in the back? That's how it looked like the garden before everything was there. <laughs>